Cancer, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe okay so feeling like there's some instability in a particular relationship that you have in your life and this is causing your uh, negative thinking and negative and or ego if you will to be a little more active um and so you may be feeling a little bit um uninspired less optimistic let's say um than your natural state now remember beautiful soul like if you are not feeling the the pull and the energy of the universe or joy or love or excitement, it's because you're fixated on something that you don't like, right? That isn't good, doesn't feel good for you. You're not happy with this situation, right? Something in your life might be holding you back from really feeling like you're the one in charge. And so when we don't feel like we have a choice, what happens? The ego comes out. And we try to defend ourselves and protect ourselves, right? Because we don't feel like we have a choice. So at the end of the day, remember, you always have a choice. You, the choice is always yours. Now, the thing is, is we have to practice this in our spare time as well, right? So if, we are, if we've been practicing fear, then we've been practicing serving the darkness, right? And when that happens, we feel dark inside of us. We almost feel like ugly inside of us, right? Yucky inside of us. And it's not our natural state. It almost feels like sludge is inside of us. And so in order for us to like, how does that feel like? Well, sludge, right? We have lack of energy, lack of momentum, lack of excitement, uh, overwhelmed, easy, impatient, um, you know, very defensive, you know? And then when we feel like that, we live our lives um, based off of that feeling. So we react off of that feeling. We don't want to do that, right? We want to always be very be coherent to um, what our emotions are telling us because our emotions are meant to come up and we're meant to experience our emotions, but the, the mind is not meant to act off of the emotions. The emotions let us know where we're at and then the mind thinks logically about the next step, not about dwelling what the emotions are saying. So if we are dwelling in our emotional state and we're worried, we're you know, feeling lack here and negative here. It just goes to show that we are, again, our consciousness is focusing on that, that fear, that darkness. And, um, where was I going with this? And, um, I got caught up in this other message, but either way, um, we're just, we're going to get lost in it, right? We're not going to be moving forward. So the name of the game is this. In order for things to progress and in order for things to move forward in your life, there's going to have to be some changes. So the tower card is present. You may be, have already experienced these tower moments, but either way, anything that it's going to be changes in your life that basically just reroute you because the foundation that you're building your life off of right now isn't sustainable. And so for you to receive what you're looking to receive, and we can see here that good things are coming with that ace of wands. And by the way, that tower card and the ace of wands came down horizontal horizontal vertical with each other meaning that this change that you're going to be experiencing in your life is going to bring you to a new time a new vision a new perspective a new opportunity a new job a new house whatever it may be but that ace of wands always represents movement and, and growth in the physical plane so it's going to be something that is going to be feeling very progressive for your spirit so just trust in the process because when you do go through because you came from some adversity and because you're going through uh you know there needed to be a change right in whatever relationship and and and, um, and, you know, focus you were putting your time into, uh, in terms of your finances, right? Whatever job you had or whatever, um, it just, it wasn't going to be sustainable. And at this point it was, it's spirit saying it's time for you to move on to the next step, right? So the next step is going to always come with, uh, a form of, um, adversity or change, big changes so that we can see things differently. And that's why we always say, don't get stuck in programs. Don't get stuck in familiar patterns, change things up, experience new, explore with, uh, with, with what your heart's guiding you towards. Don't stay stuck in fear. Be willing to say yes to the things that, yeah, might bring you a little bit of hesitancy because you're uncertainty, but say yes to it. Know that fear is a choice. You can always choose love, right? So when you are just feeling like, you know, it's the end, you're just feeling so 
worn out and just feeling like even even just feeling backstabbed a little bit, you know, you're just like, what's going on here? Just know that everything that you face in this game of, of, of life, right? And it is a game. It's just a simulation, right? Once when we're, when we're part of this, understand that everything is for us to evolve. So again, whenever you face challenges, never look at those challenges as if like, you know, this is it or what's happening. You always want to look at them and be open to um, receiving the answer, right? And in order to do that, we have to face our fear. And whatever that fear that is, maybe it's fear of money, maybe it's fear of love, right? Maybe it's, it's, it's fear of, you know, our, our bosses, whatever it is, right? But we have to sit in, and give ourselves space and time, almost in like a meditation, right? Where we can just feel out what it is that we really want to do without any energy attachments, without any of that dark energy trying to hold us back. So how, how this happens is you have to be in a place of stillness, let go of your thoughts. And maybe that means, you know, breathing into your heart a little bit, taking some deep breaths, breathing out that energy. Maybe that means listening to some nice calming music. And maybe that means you might have to be there for a little while, right? I know sometimes for me, if, if, if I've had some dark energies around me and, and, and I didn't recognize it right away, I'm going to have to sit in a meditation for at least 20, 30 minutes before I even get to the good stuff, right? Before the meditation really even begins. It's like me like wading through all the darkness and like, there's the light, you know? So you might have to do that for yourself. That's okay, right? Just trust in the process. But until you, um, you got to recognize that uh, the choices in life are always, um, you're always going to be able to see clearly when you have a perspective of, um, coming from a higher place. And this is where the look to the stars card is, is why this is present. It's because when you look to um, a higher point in your life, not don't circulate and fixate on where you are, move that energy up and onwards, then you're going to feel the energy pulling you and guiding you. And this is kind of going to be what's going to happen. So you're going to go through this transformation. You're going to go through this change. You're going to be greeted with a new opportunity in life. Now, again, anything we do, right? Any new path that we go down, we're going to have to it's going to require us to have an inner will, a willpower to fight through and to choose love, even amongst the emotions that we're going to experience in this uncertain time. It's sort of like if you go to a new job and you have no idea about the people, you don't know how the system works, you don't know how the energy is going to be, you know, but you go and you show up and you put on a smile and you say, you know, let's do this. Okay. Right. So it's, it's, it, you face your fear. You know what I mean? So know that you can do that with absolutely everything. And that's why when it, when we have things in our life that we do like exercise and, you know, eating healthy and practicing challenges like intermittent fasting or juice cleanses or just different things that we do in our spare time, it allows us to remember the process. All I got to do is say yes and fight through, you know, usually that first day. And then once that first day is over, everything kind of seems okay. Right? So it's just about fighting through that first day and just kind of getting through the, the murky waters, if you will. So you've got this, everything is unfolding as it should be. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's going to be some energy that's going to stay with you from this big change. Okay. So this tower moment, this change, maybe again, moving, moving or changing jobs, you're still going to have some energy with you from whatever, whatever this, this, this past chapter you came from whatever you were witnessing, right? So if you're witnessing a relationship not going well and you dwell with it, that energy is going to stay with you until you heal it. So no matter what, until we heal what we've experienced and healing, it really just means being emotionally mature. So when emotions come up to the surface, not to react off those emotions or to kind of shove them back down, but to see the emotion. And you can even say this, I see you, I feel you, I release you. That's what, that's what I usually say. And it, it generally does the trick because then you're not trying to fight around your emotions, right? Tiptoeing around something, scared to say something, forget about that. Just be like, emotions are here, I see you, you know, heard, you well, but release, right? Because it doesn't serve you. So always remember that because at the end of the day, this is your life and the choice is always yours. And sometimes emotions come up in situations that we really feel connected to. And then we just got to remember that we are not our emotions. So when we see them, right? Experience them, feel them. Thank you for letting me know emotions. I release you, appreciate you, right? And then things that things we get the ball rolling, right? Then things feel pretty good because we're able to receive clarity. So there's going to be profound clarity coming in for you here, Cancer. And that clarity is going to bring you immense peace. So long story short is you got nothing to worry about. No matter what, spirit's on your side and you're always being guided by angels and love. But we don't feel that. We don't feel that, that love and that guidance from the angels in the spirit world uh, if we are focused on things that make us feel dark, right? So the name of the game is to focus on things that make us feel light, make us feel um, love in, in, in our hearts. 
your message for today is when you feel something, do it. When you don't, don't do it. Ain't that the truth. So when you feel it, you do it. And when you don't feel something, don't try to talk yourself into it. I should be doing this. I should be better. I should be doing this. It, don't even do it to yourself because it's a waste of your energy, right? You're, you want to always let the energy guide you. So if you feel like doing something, it's because the energy is guiding you. If you don't feel like doing something, the energy is not guiding you there. So if you try to force it, it's like you're going against resistance. And then there's a lot of resistance. You always want to just tune into where the energy is showing you. What feels what feels easy for you, what feels exciting for you, what, where, where, what gives you an inner will, because that's going to be the steps, right? And if you really want to do something, but there's a lot of emotion, again, just see it, feel it, and release it, and that will help you move forward on your journey. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there were messages in here for you. If there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.